Hey, uh, good morning. Today we're in Romans 1, chapter, chapter 1, still chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. Here in chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, what we find is essentially Paul's thesis or his big idea for all of the book of Romans. And so what Paul's going to focus on is the gospel, um, that the power of the gospel that's for our salvation. Uh, look at the text. Check out what Paul says. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first, also to the Greek. For in it, that's in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. And so uh, check it out in the text. Um, first, here's what Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Question, church, uh, friend, why, why, why would we be ashamed of the gospel? Like, what is it in our society where sometimes I hear or I see um, people who act like they're ashamed of the gospel? Well, why would that be? What are the pressures of society that, that we deal with? Um, second question, how do we deal with that, right? Like, how do I live my life not ashamed of the gospel, boldly proclaiming Jesus Christ as Lord through all things? Um, how, do I, how do I live my life that way? What's some good advice? Uh, second, get this, Paul says that the gospel is the power of salvation for everyone who believes. Why is that powerful? Why is that important for us to believe that the gospel is for everyone who believes? For the Jew, the Gentile, everyone. Um, and then finally, get this, what Paul does is he says, uh, he quotes Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4, that the righteous shall live by faith. And uh, interesting, in that passage, it's unclear if it's God's faithfulness to the believer or the believer's faithfulness to God that makes him righteous. And so uh, final question, something to think about, something to discuss. Am I living today because God is faithful to me? Or am I living today because I'm faithful to God? Or is it both? And what does that look like in uh, day-to-day -day life, especially now?